<laughs> Libra, what's going on? What's shaking? I hope you're super well. Um, this is Madam Butterfly and this is going to be super quick messages from your person for like mid-April. But you know what? Whenever it pops up in your feed is when you were supposed to get it because it's timeless, uh, Libra. Thank you so much for checking out the video, you know, whether you're new or a returner. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to check it out, I really appreciate it. And, you know, if you find that it resonates with you and you enjoy it, don't forget to like and subscribe for me. If you feel like doing that, <laughs> no pressure. And if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do that too. Um, if you head down to the description box, there's a link <coughs> to my Fiverr page. <laughs> So, uh, Libra, the sun is shining, it's a beautiful day here, and you have the sun shining, first card out in your, your reading. Um, so your person is doing some healing at the moment, okay, um, but they're nearly out of it because they're going to come forward, or they really want to come forward and give you an offer. They're closing down a chapter in their life at the moment, and they're doing some uh, <clears throat> kind of heart chakra healing. There's something, they're kind of prickly, this person, <clears throat> kind of defensive, they've been, or at least they've been kind of defensive with you, and it's because of, um, you know, it's a quick reading, so I haven't really gone into it, but like, <clears throat> there's some kind of, like, fear of rejection, feeling left out in the cold, trust issues, kind of thing that's been going on with them, but they're, they're working on themselves, um, they love you, <laughs> Libra, they love you. Um, you know, you make them really happy, really, really happy. It's a soulmate connection with that lover's card, lots of passion, you know, lots of um, feeling very at home with one another. You know, you just make this, you're just a very bright presence in this person's world um, with this, light. like if you look at the colors in these cards, they're, they're gorgeous, you know, that's, the sun lights up the reading, makes everything happy and positive. You know, I feel like you brought joy back into this person's life. You, it may have been like a light was turned on for this person when you met them, you know. Um, and you know, the lover's card is the true love card. You know, if that's focusing, is that focusing? <laughs> you know, this is the, the true love card. So, you know, they, they're, you make them very, very happy. Um, listen, Libra, <laughs> don't, don't bite my head off. <laughs> There's definitely something here about a pregnancy, okay, um, for a lot of you, um, or at least for some of you, or at least this is what your person's thinking, okay, because you have imminent pregnancy here in the red cards, and I know you guys don't like it when I say that, so I put it back and it came out again, so, um, and you also have the Empress here, okay, with the thinking card, the Three of Wands is my thinking card, so this person thinks of you, they're thinking of you as like the mother of their children kind of thing. Um, for some of you, I don't, there may already be a pregnancy involved here. Like, you may be pregnant or your person may be pregnant, but they're seeing you as like this kind of empress mother energy. So, you know, this person may want to get this like lockdown. <laughs> you know, they may try and um, get you, uh, you know, in the child way fairly quickly. Or that's kind of what they're thinking here. Um, so you have the Five of Pentacles right in the centre of the reading, okay? So this person may have left you out in the cold while they were, like, they may have kind of rejected the love at first and it's kind of like a, um, almost like, you see the way he's looking? See how he's just like, no, like, I'm not dealing with it. I'm not dealing with this again. Like, you know, I don't care what you say. Like, I'm not, I'm just not dealing with it again. Like, I'm not dealing with love. I've been stomped on too many times. I, I don't care. You know, uh, they may have left you out in the cold because they were like, you know, maybe a fear of rejection here with that Four of Cups. It may have just been like, because um, you have the Seven of Cups here as well. So this person was confused for a while, but the, the fog is clearing, okay, because they see you. See that one in the middle? It's always... This card always looks to me like that cup in the middle is kind of rising out of the fog. Do you know what I mean? And he's kind of looking straight at that one. So it's like they were confused until they met you kind of thing is what I get from that. Um, also with this five of pentacles, this person may, you know, they may have been depressed. Like there may have been, 
they may have just been in like a funk, you know what I mean? Like there, there may have been some, there's some kind of healing here. They took a period of respite to heal. So I don't know, maybe when you met them, they'd just broken up with someone. Maybe in their past, there was a particularly brutal relationship or something like that. But there was definitely a period here where it was just a no-go on their part because they were healing. But the thing is, they've, they're having this, like a brain smart. They've, they've had, um, like a, I was going to say a revolution, no, uh, a revelation, you know, like um, the, 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 the fog, the confusion has been pierced, you know, by this ace of wands. This is like mental clarity here and they've really been working on themselves with this ace of pen, uh, eight of pentacles, really been working on themselves and now they want to move this faster, okay, they want to come in fast and move this forward. They're ready. You have two sixes here, good sign. They're ready to move away from the conflict of the Five of Swords into this like much smoother Six of Swords, like sailing away off into the sunset, you know, moving into calmer waters. The Six of Wands is a victory. They're ready to have this victory with you now. Uh, I feel like they weren't before because, <clears throat> you know, you may, I feel like you, most of you guys might actually be in separation because that Four of Swords often means a separation. Um, and you have I miss you here as well and with that three of swords there was definitely like a period of respite here that this person took so they could heal they're showing up here as the king of pentacles <clears throat> to show you that they're ready now okay if I can get them to focus <laughs> why don't you want to focus there thank you um, the king of pentacles to show you that they're ready for commitment okay so like they may not have been ready before but they're ready now Okay, with this King of Pentacles, ready for commitment. Um, you know, they've dealt with whatever the sadness was in the past. You know, they've dealt with it so they can move on, so they can have a happy relationship with you. Um, you have the chariot at the bottom of the deck, so there's determination and focus here to move forward. There's movement here, there's victory here. Uh, the star card underneath that wish fulfillment Libra um, and to go with that king of pentacles you also have um, the ten of pentacles the commitment card and uh, you know the settling down card and that page of pentacles kind of wanting you to you know wanting to offer you this like reaching out offering you this new beginning there's going to be some kind of message here or at least this is what they want to do okay um, uh, you also have, yeah, see, <laughs> imminent pregnancy. So there's something here, like either one of you is pregnant or they want to get you pregnant or this is what they're thinking in the future. But imminent means, you know, it's soon. Like they're, they're thinking soon here. Um, yeah, I think you're amazing. Let yourself be loved again. Now, I feel like this is more on their side. Um, I miss you. Yeah, I feel like some of you guys might be incommunicado at the moment. Now, let's see, you have let yourself be loved again and trust issues, okay? So I feel like when you met this person, they were very prickly because you have, you changed the way I think. So I feel like when you guys met, um, like they really had their guard up because I think someone really, you know, <clears throat> like effed them up in the past. But th they're healing, they've healed, okay? Because you have here um, the Scorpion card, which this is exactly what the Scorpion card talks about. <clears throat> like it talks about, you know, kind of releasing the past because like though you may have been hurt in the past, it doesn't mean that you should apply it to what's going on now. You know, with the Scorpion card, it's kind of letting that sting out of your tail and not being so defensive. You know what I mean? It's exactly what we were talking about in the reading here. And with the golden egg, this is heart chakra healing. So the heart chakra, you know, this is releasing like uh, built up fear, this is like releasing negativity around relationships, letting people love you, letting people in to love you. <clears throat> and with the back card, this signifies the closing of a chapter. And it's usually quite a dark chapter I find when this back comes out. Because um, it's almost like the dark night of the soul, you know, and then the sun comes out, which is, you know, the sun here. Um, <clears throat> so 
yeah this person's like closing down like a darker chapter of their life to come towards you and with that back card you know they're nearly out of this libra so good sign so i'm gonna leave it there <laughs> excuse me because it's just supposed to be a quickie um i hope you enjoyed your reading i enjoyed reading for you and you know if you did enjoy it don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that thank you for watching libra don't be a stranger bye